What's up, guys? It's Friday, and so you know what time it is. It is time for What the Fitness. What the f Which, on this show, has basically become, we go to TikTok, and we see what people are saying about diet soda, and then we destroy them. Because apparently, that is the content y'all are here for, because that's why I get tagged in all the time. But hey, I'm not mad. We're here for it. So let's see what we got this week. It's an old guy with a can of Diet Coke. I'm sure everything he's gonna, and oh, 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 and he's in a lab coat. That makes him like super credible. Side rant, do you know that I actually never wore a lab coat when I was in doing my PhD? I guess that means that like, I'm not actually a PhD. That I, like my whole doctorate, my whole PhD, complete fake, because I've never done a video in a lab coat. I, I missed out on so much marketing because apparently if you wear one of these white lab coats, People will just believe whatever the hell you say. They, they like that just gives so much. They're like, oh my god, a white lab coat. He must be like resequencing the genome or something. No, he's just an idiot on the couch holding a can of Diet Coke, about to spout some bullshit. Let's see what it is. This is uh, Doc Aman, Doc Amon, Docman. I'm not sure. Who cares? Let's go. Good for the brain or bad for the brain? It's diet. What does it have in it? First off, this guy seems to be really struggling to form words. It's diet. But I'll save the ad homs for later. Carbonated water. Awesome. Coloring. Probably not awesome. Aspartame. Long pause for dramatic effect. Can we insert some wheels turning in his brain? <laughs> Can we do that? Yeah, just, just thinking. Maybe it takes a while to read a, a Diet Coke label, but, uh, or he's just really trying to string that out for dramatic effect. Maybe I should put in more long pauses. What do you think, Brian? Aim, oh no. Salt. Why does soda have salt in it? <laughs> because people like the taste of salt. But, you know, Doc, let's just do a real quick search of how much sodium is in Diet Coke. I bet it's a monstrous amount. Oh, 40 milligrams of sodium, which 40 divided by 2000 is 2% 2 of your recommended daily intake. So I don't think Diet Coke is gonna give you hypertension, if I'm being honest. Plus that the whole sodium causes hypertension is a whole nother discussion in and of itself. But regardless, um, this is like one of the classic medical or science fallacies where they say something scary like, why is there sodium in your Diet Coke? The same reason that there's salt in all kinds of shit, guys, because it tastes fantabulous. That's why. And fortunately, has zero calories. And fortunately, is a really small amount in diet soda. By the way, this look he's giving me right now, not engendering a lot of confidence. Is engendering the right word for that? To make you thirsty. So oh, to make you thirsty. That's why salt's in there. Again, you get more sodium in pretty much everything you eat compared to a diet soda. In fact, in sports drinks for rehydration, guess what's in there? Sodium and other electrolytes. Sodium in isolation doesn't necessarily make you thirsty. It depends on how it fits in the overall milieu and what you're doing throughout the day. But again, it is a very small amount of sodium. In fact, probably completely offset by the amount of fluid that you are consuming. But I digress. You will have more of it. Studies show. Whenever somebody says studies show and doesn't give a citation, you know some bullshit is about to follow. By the way, this guy is 100% crazy. Just like based on eyeball movement and like how large his eyeballs are. I mean like, you ever been around somebody who's like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, why do they put salt in it? Anyway, he may not be crazy. I, I, it just, I don't know, the, the whole appearance thing, the lab coat with the big eyeballs, I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The diet sodas. Long pause. Increase the incidence of obesity. No, <laughs> we've already covered this. No, they do not. So if you, again, I feel like a broken record just repeatedly, but the human randomized control trials. So if you look at um, associations, yes, you can find associations between 
obesity, and diet soda intake. You can also find them between meat and obesity. Who cares? Meat's not causing obesity. People who eat higher levels of meat tend to eat more overall calories, just like diet soda isn't causing obesity. And we know that because we have dozens of human randomized control trials where people drink diet soda and do not gain weight and in some cases actually lose more weight than those who are drinking water. It doesn't make you fat, period. This is not up for debate. There's no longer a debate. Like back in 2000, man, you can have a debate. You can't have a debate anymore. You cannot find one human randomized control trial where they have people drink diet soda and they spontaneously become obese. It does not happen, didn't happen, never has happened. In fact, they don't even gain a little bit of weight. And again, in some cases, they actually lose more weight. You know what's great about this video? I can just literally copy paste all the references that I've ever done for any diet soda video and just put them in here and that's, that's all we need to do. So those of you OGs on the channel who have seen like a dozen of these videos, just bear with me on this one. We're getting new subscribers every day and some of them may think that diet soda actually makes you fat. So we're gonna have to go through this walk one more time. Actually, it's probably gonna be a lot more than one more time, but you know, for this week. Sorry, Doc, what were you saying in your lab coat? Increase the incidence of diabetes. Nope, actually, it, again, in the studies where they lose weight, they actually showed that their markers of like insulin sensitivity actually improve. Not good for your health. I have a secret. I actually use sparkling water oh. and put a little flavored stevia in oh. it. You no naughty, calories, naughty boy. Nothing in it that's bad for me. So stevia, ironically, has less safety data on it than aspartame or sucralose. But everybody's like, but bro, it's natural, man. It comes from the ground. Yeah, so do some of the most horrible poisons known to man are found naturally in nature. I'm not saying stevia is bad for you. Seems to be totally safe as do the other artificial sweeteners. But he, he uses sparkling water. I love the like the virtue signaling of, I'm too good for diet soda. I drink sparkling water with a hint of stevia. Amazing. On a scale of one to 10 of kill you early, the research is gonna say this is an eight. Oh my God. On a scale of one to 10 of fuckery, bro, you just hit an 11. That which can be asserted without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. Oh man, you know, I forgot about all those uh, studies on mortality showing people who drink diet soda die way early. Oh wait, no, they don't exist. Or a nine, because anything that increases the incidence of diabetes and obesity. It doesn't. It's a diet drink. Yeah, it's a lie. It's not a diet drink. Uh... Long pause, actually, he's thinking. You know, you know that part where like your CD skips? That's, that's him right now. Fortunately, I have Brian and jump cuts, so I look smart as hell. 8.7. Oh, an 8.7, okay, okay. Uh, I don't think we really need to say anything else. I think Brian and I are probably gonna purchase a lab coat from somewhere and uh, I'm gonna try and make my eyes bug out of my head a little bit more and quote, absolutely no scientific research and then maybe people will believe me. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I will catch you next week.